Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I return a response with errors instead of throwing an exception in the validation pipeline using Mediator 3? Let's break down the issue. In the validation pipeline of Mediator 3, many examples demonstrate throwing a validation exception when validation fails. However, our viewer wants to return a response containing the errors instead. This approach can enhance user experience by providing immediate feedback without interrupting the flow. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To modify the validation pipeline in Mediator 3, we need to change how we handle validation failures. Instead of throwing a validation exception, we will return a response containing the errors. First, let's look at the existing validation pipeline code. We have a class called validation pipeline that implements IP pipeline behavior. This class currently throws a validation exception if there are validation failures. Next, we will modify the handle method. Instead of throwing an exception, we will create a new instance of response base passing in the validation failures and return it as the response. To ensure that our pipeline works correctly, we need to update the generic constraints of the validation pipeline class. We will specify that response must inherit from response base. Finally, if you encounter a type conversion error, ensure that your request handlers return the correct type that matches the response base. This will resolve the cannot convert to tResponse error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle validation errors without throwing exceptions in Mediator, consider using a custom result object. This allows every method in your application layer to return a result type. The Validation Behavior class checks for validators and collects any validation failures. If there are failures, it sets the error messages in the result response. By ensuring all handlers return a result type, you can manage validation errors gracefully without exceptions, streamlining your validation pipeline. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle validation errors in a Mediator pipeline without throwing exceptions, simply avoid calling the next delegate if there are any validation failures. In the code, you gather validation results, check for errors, and if found, create a response object of type tResponse to return the failures. Remember, your response class must conform to tResponse, ensuring compatibility in the pipeline.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To handle validation errors without throwing exceptions in Mediator 3, you can use the Fluent Validation Package. First, add the package to your project. In your Configuration section, insert the line to add Fluent Validation. This will set up the validation for your handlers. For more details, check out the GitHub repository for the Mediator Fluent Validation extension. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.